Hello everyone, I'm Yuan Song from the College of Electronic and Information Engineering, Nanjing University of Aeronautics and Astronautics. It is really an honor for me to share our work with you here. My presentation will cover the following parts. The first part is the introduction and motivation of this work. Then we will briefly talk about the CN hybrid compression strategy. Next, the design hardware accelerator will be presented. And finally, the experimental results are given. The progress of internet and computing hardware has promoted the development of artificial intelligence. As an important branch of AI field, deep neural networks shine brightly in many things and have made a lot of excellent achievements. Convolutional neural networks, as a typical representative of DNN, have achieved outstanding performance in image classification, face recognition, target detection, and other tasks. Nowadays, the application demand of edge devices for CNN is growing, but deep neural networks occupy a lot of computational and storage resource overhead. In order to enable large-scale CNN to meet the real-time requirements on resource-constrained embedded devices, researchers have made great efforts to model compression and hardware acceleration. In order to reduce the model size and speed up the inference or training of the network, model compression techniques have been widely studied, among which Quantization and pruning are two common methods. Weight quantization uses the low precision weight instead of the original four precision weights, which can reduce the size of the model and be suitable for FPGA computing. Pruning is to reduce the amount of parameters and computation in the network by eliminating the less important weights. According to the pruning object, it is divided into non-structured pruning, regular pruning, and structured pruning. Non-structured pruning is a weight-level method, which has high flexibility and can bring a large compression ratio to the network. But its irregular specificity is difficult to be accelerated. Structured pruning is usually formed in the convolutional kernel or channel dimension, which is easy to be accelerated by the computing architecture. However, due to the strict requirements for sparse patterns, it is difficult to reach a large pruning ratio. Compared with structured pruning, regular pruning is relatively mild in the selection of pruning objects, which can balance the regularity and the specificity of the compressed model. To achieve a better trade-off between compression rate and hardware performance, firstly, the amount of parameters and calculation in the COM layers and FC layers are analyzed so as to explore the appropriate compression method. As we can see, given a COM layer with M input channels and N output channels, its kernel size is K multiply K, then the number of weights WCOM and MIX OCOM in this layer are given by formula 1 and 2 respectively, where H and W represent the height and width of the feature map. Different from the COM layers, the FC layers contain less computation but more parameters. Each node in a FC layer is connected to all the nodes of adjacent layers. The number of parameters WFC and MIX OFC can be calculated by formula 3, where N in and N out denotes the number of the input and output neurons in the FC layers respectively. 
If in VGG16, there are 11.9% of waste and 99.2% of mix contained in the COM layers, while the FC layers possess 188.1% of waste and 0.8% of mix, it indicates that the COM layers are suitable for acceleration and the FC layers have the potential to be compressed. Leveraging the different characteristics of the COM and FC layers, a hybrid compression strategy is proposed. The specific contents are as follows. Firstly, the CN model is divided into two parts according to the COM layers and FC layers. Then, a hardware-oriented regular pruning HRP is designed for the COM layers so that the compressed COM layers have regular specificity and can be efficiently calculated by the parallel architecture. For the FC layers and contain more redundant parameters and greater robustness, non-structured pruning is applied to eliminate as many as possible parameters and improve the compression ratio of the model. All the least significant ways with more absolute values are pruned according to a preset pruning ratio, and a file bit index is used to record the relative position information of the non-zero weights. After pruning, the non-zero weights are quantified according to the method in reference 15. The weights of COM layers are quantified as 8 bits and the weights of FC layers are quantified as 4 bits. The network accuracy is recovered through retraining. Using the hybrid compression strategy, the model can not only be calculated efficiently, but also have a high compression ratio. The operation of HRP used in the COM layers are as follows. First, the weights in the kernel are clustered by rows to obtain k groups. Thus, for k multiply k kernel, each group includes k weights. Then, we adopt L1 norm to indicate the significance of group A. It can be calculated as formula 4. Finally, according to the significance values, the least significant group is pruned to obtain a new regular ship kernel denoted by P kernel. For each P kernel in the COM layers, there will be K possible shapes. To record either each kernel shape, kernel level index is used. All P kernels will have the same number of non-zero weights, which prevents load imbalance in the hardware architecture while maintaining a 1 over K kernel pruning efficiency. The HRP-based hardware architecture for the sparse COM layers is shown in the figure 4. The overall architecture is mainly composed of index weight RAMs, fit map RAMs, convolution processing units, accumulator modules, post-processing modules, and data reorganization units. It is pipeline for efficient processing. The data from IWRAMs and FMRAMs are loaded into buffers, then they are sent to CompUs. The IWRAM provides kernel level index and weights for each corresponding CompU. M FMRAMs provide fit maps for M input channels contained in CompUs. DCOMPE is mainly composed of two 322 multiplexers, MAX1 and MAX2 and two processing elements, P1 and P2. The working principle of DCOMP is as follows. In each calculation cycle, DCOMP receives the expression data in the vertical direction of four adjacent rows in the input fit map, which is denoted as A0 to A3. The two multiplexers are used to select the corresponding activation for the left P in which the kernel level index in the P kernel is used as the selection signal of the multiplexer. 
and the weight is sent to the upper and lower P to participate in the operation. Since the weight involved in the calculation comes from the same kernel, and the expression comes from different rows in the input bitmap, this is actually equivalent to two identical kernels sliding on the fit map at the same time. Therefore, the conversion of two adjacent rows of the output fit map can be calculated at the same time in one cycle. Taking the kernel index of 00, 0 as an example, we use the multiplexers to select A1 and A2 for the P1 and A2 and the a3 for the P2. P1 and P2 calculate the two output Y1 and Y2 respectively. A COMPU consists of MD COMPE, which are used to compute M channels of inputs in parallel to generate the rate of one output channel. Then the result of each COMPE is sent to the following AM for accumulation. The post-processing modules handle the subsequent pooling or real operation. The output fit maps of N output channels are reorganized by the CRU. Then the processed data will be written in the FM RAMs as the input fit maps of the next count layers. To improve computational efficiency, a specific data flow is designed to match the proposed DCOMP. Figma B and C show the calculation process of the first four rows of output fit map, the padding zero, and the first three rows of Figma A to form four rows of data, and the four activations in the vertical directions are sent to DCOMP for calculation in each cycle and can be seen in fig file B, two rows of output fit maps are generated, as shown in fig file C. When the current two rows of output maps are calculated, the input actuations are from row 2 to 4 in fig file A, which is similar to the kernel sliding two rows in the vertical direction on the fit map. The table shows the compression experimental results of VGG16 on ILSVRC dataset. In the experiment, the pruning rate of all count layers is 1 over 3. Different compression rates can be obtained by adjusting the pruning rate of the FC layers within the allowable error range of 2%. The model compression rate can range from 8 times 10 to 31.74 times. Figure 3 more intuitively shows the accuracy of VGG16 on the different compression rates. The horizontal axis in the figure represents the compression rate, and the left and right vertical axis are the top 1 and the top 5 class classification accuracy of the network respectively. It can be seen from the figure that the overall trend of the network accuracy curve decreases with the increase of the compression rate. However, when the net accuracy loss is controlled within the acceptable range of 2%, the maximum compression ratio can reach 31.74 times. This reflects the efficiency of the proposed hybrid compression strategy. The compression results of this design and other state-of-the-art designs are shown in Table 2. PIY determines the pruning structure based on the sensitivity of channels and filters. The compressed rate of parameters and MAFE are 1.5 times and 1.49 times respectively. Hako only prunes the FC layers, but all non-zero weights are quantized. The compress rate reaches 27.50 times. CHAPR identifies and prunes redundant input channels and realizes 19.80 times 
parameters compressed rate with more serious accuracy loss. Compared with this design, the proposed strategy achieves maximum parameters compression of 31.74 times at the same time it reaches 1.51 times mixed compression rate, second only to TAPR. Experiments are also conducted on ResNet-18 by using the hybrid compression strategy. HRP is applied to count layers except for the first layer, and the weights are quantized to 8 bits for all count layers and to 4 bits for the FC layers, as shown in Table 3, a 5.83 time compression rate as well as a 1.46 times max compression rate are achieved with 0.6% top 5 accuracy degradation. Compared with PIY, the proposed method has better compression performance. There are 32 multiply 32 decomp P in the proposed hardware accelerator. Each decomp P contains four three-type retiming FIR filters. Its setting can perform 2048 convolution in one cycle. The count layers can be processed in high parallelism. To save DSP resources, half of the FIR filters are implemented by lookup tables, and the remaining half are realized by 4096 DSPs. Our design can achieve a performance of 110.6 FPS with a clock frequency of 100 microns compared with reference 15. The proposed design consumes slightly more lookup tables, but the speed is increased by 1.33 times. The performance of our design is improved by 2.4 times compared with reference 17, and is 3.4 times faster than reference 18. The proposed design is suitable for high-speed applications. That's all. Thank you for listening. If there are any questions, please contact us by email.